Welcome back, T-Bird Nation, to another installment of the Coach Warren Show. We're here on the beautiful campus of Southern Utah University. Uh, beautiful day. Excited to be here. Uh, this show is brought to you by and sponsored by Clark & Linford Jewelers, 83 North Main, historic downtown Cedar City. Uh, if you're in love and you're looking for the right ring, it's the place to go. Coach, uh, we're excited to be here again. Uh, let's recap briefly NAU, give us kind of a, a taste of what happened there in Flagstaff. Yeah, we got off to a slow start again. That's kind of been our Achilles heel for the first four games now. We're always starting in a deficit. Defense has given up either a field goal or a touchdown every opening drive. We haven't scored in the first quarter. So there's things that we got to gotta improve on at the beginning of the football game. Um, from that point on, I thought they battled back. It was it was exciting because I, I was hoping, I envisioned our win to be something where things go wrong, we fight adversity, we able to come back, and there was plenty of all that that uh, in store on Saturday. And uh, once we took the lead, we ended up uh, giving up a, a late touchdown and wasn't able to to bounce back from that. But yeah. um, the guys fought hard. They they were in it with a very good team on the road and a hard place to win, and um, just came up a little short. Yeah, uh, you talked a little bit about adversity being part of the formula. Um, looks like Chris Helbig got knocked out of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, you know, starting quarterback going out, you can chalk that up to adversity. But uh, Aaron Zwallen stepped in um, and, and seemed to really have a good grasp of the offense. Tell us a little bit about uh, Aaron and, and his uh, ability to step right in there and give a, a little boost. Yeah, Aaron's been uh, awesome since he came, in, came into campus last January. He's uh, battled for a position, almost took the, the old starting guy's position last year. Had a start last year against Sac State, um, came back and, and had another another huge uh, competition, quarterback competition all throughout summer and, and, and barely lost. But we've always felt good about Aaron. We know we can move the ball. You only get to play one quarterback as a starter, and uh, he, he hasn't got that opportunity yet until until Saturday or until until yesterday this season. And so he really stepped up and, and led our offense to three straight scoring drives. And I was just really proud of the way he's handled himself up until this point. Yeah. And I think that's the reason he had success. He's handled handled everything that's happened to him with maturity. He's always been a team guy. Wanted wants to help the team win in any way possible. And he actually got to do that on the field on Saturday, which yeah. was fun to see. I mean, it was exciting to see him out there have some success. Yeah. And uh, he's a great young man. You got a, a lot of great young men on this team. There's yeah. a lot of great uh, leadership. Tell us a little bit, maybe a, give us a little spotlight on someone uh, that's providing some of that leadership that can uh, maybe push us across the finish line here come, coming up in the rest of the season. Yeah, P.J. Newsaw was uh, a guy that stepped up after the game. We, we talk about focusing on the process without being emotionally attached to the results. I mean, we try to teach life lessons. Uh, every single day and, and if you're only about the 11 weeks that you get to play football then we're not going to get much out of this experience and he we got up there and, and talked about not quitting and going back to work in the next week where you don't even have a football game and, and that's what we've always been about here is just going through the process learning how to discipline yourself trying to live the right way uh, focusing on the values that you care about and um, I think that's a message that was needed, and I thought he delivered that on Saturday, and I was really proud of him. And I think going forward, if we can focus on that and really think about the reasons that we're really here, uh, I think it's going to help us not only this season, but in the future as well. Yeah, that's great. That's um, great advice for Thunderbird Nation as well. I mean, that's it's PJ's wise beyond his years. Uh, that's, that's, that's great information, and, and uh, hopefully the team will rally behind that, that concept, mm -hmm. uh, rally behind the, uh, the work and the grind and the results uh, will, will come as a fruit of that. So that's great. Um, you got a bye week coming up. Yeah. Guys are hungry, I'm sure. They're yeah. probably a little, uh, you know, they're probably a little upset as well. Uh, but tell us about the goal uh, that you have for the bye week. What are some things that you're gonna be focusing on and uh, prioritizing as you go forward here on the bye week? Yeah, we're, we got, we just had a defense, a long defensive meeting uh, as a staff and try to identify some things that we have to get better at. We got to get better at discipline. We got to get better at tackling. We got to get better at starting fast and finishing uh, through the end of the game. And so uh, we've identified that. We kind of came up with a game plan about these are the ways we're going to do that. And we're going to present that to the players. Offensively, they're doing the same thing. And then we're going to get together as a staff and talk about our whole team. But 
really just trying to fix problems that, that we think we're having. And if we are able to focus in on a couple little details here, a couple of details there, and able to improve those things, those will result in wins. And again, going back to, to PJ, is just can you focus on the process? What, yeah. what are the things that are going to help us be better as a team? And can we get better at those things? And if we do that, then, then we got a chance to be successful. Yeah, there's, that, uh, there's an old military quote, assess, adapt, and overcome. Sounds like you're in the process, Coach. <laughs> Uh, keep grinding. We'll see you uh, on the next installment. Appreciate you being here and taking the time. Thank you.